What's up internet marketers, it's Ike Paws from internetmarketinggym.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a terms of use and a privacy policy for your website within seconds. That's right. You don't have to worry about some getting a fancy lawyer to write up a terms of use and privacy policy for your website. You can get it done in seconds and best part, it's all free. So watch this video, uh, watch this video in its entirety and learn how I did it and learn how you can do it too. So what's up? Here you see a privacy policy on my internet marketing gym site. Okay, it's pretty long. Uh, you can read this if you would like. Uh, it's it's all the legal matters uh, that you might that your visitor might need about your about your particular website. This is my privacy policy. This is my terms of service. It's very long, very lengthy. All the information that I have about my website and uh, the, the the service that I provide and how the visitor can interact with my website. Okay. Now you might be thinking I had a lawyer come up with these documents. And if you if you're thinking that you're wrong, okay? I use a free plugin, WordPress plugin that lets me uh, create these th uh, these um, legal documents in seconds, okay? Now if I click edit page, let me click edit page on both my terms of use and privacy policy. Let's check that out. Now check it out. What do you see? One second, you will see this short code. You don't see the long, uh, the long article here, do you? You see just my um, brackets with my terms of service, and you can see here on my privacy policy the same thing, but with privacy policy. Any day now, see brackets with my privacy policy. Th these are short codes that I, I I created pages for that that display the terms of use and privacy policy. But the question is, how do I get these short codes, short, short codes to work? Well, I have a plugin. Not, it's not my plugin. It's a plugin that um, you can find on the, the plugin section of your WordPress website. Uh, you want to uh, type in auto terms of service and privacy policy, and you can see it's already active on my site. You click that. You click install now, and you click activate. Once you do that, you want to go to the <clears throat> settings section of your WordPress WordPress website, that's a mouthful, and click auto toss and PPP, and PP, okay? And then you simply, it's, it's automatically on off, coming soon, and then you wanna click on on displaying, okay? And then uh, terms of service, privacy policy, you write in your site's name, your company's name, uh, any abbreviations, the, the possessive form, okay, of your company your company's domain name, your website, I'm sorry, I should be saying your website, not your company, you might not have a company, your website, your company, your, your website's domain name, your uh, website's domain name in full with the HTTP, uh, minimum age, how old can someone use your site? Okay, so if you have something that's, um, I don't know, like a gambling or, or something about alcohol, then you might wanna say 18 and up or 21 and up, okay? but my site, actually, I'm gonna put my, since it's making money online, mine 18 and up, okay. 30, and then they ask you time period of changing fees and other other notifications, I put 30 days. Uh, and how, how quickly can you reply, one business day. So just put in whatever, whatever you want. These are, these are some sections you can, you can leave, you can leave blank, okay. First off, you can copy very much, pretty much what I have here. But when it comes to your DMCA notice, you are just keep, leave this blank. They already have one installed. Venue, you got to put in uh, where you're where you're located, not your address, but just your county, your city, all that good information, and just click Save Changes. Okay. And when you do that, uh, your terms of use and privacy policy will appear, just like the way I have it. Okay, just like this. Another important thing, you got to create the, the, the separate pages, right? You have to create an actual terms of use page on your WordPress website, which is super easy to do, right? You just, you just uh, go to, you click, uh, where is that? You click pages, click add new. Of course, you're going to want to put in 
one second, this is taking a bit. You want to put in terms of use, click another page, uh, privacy policy, and then you want to, you're going to want to drop those short, short codes into those different pages. And when you publish them, these uh, uh, terms of use and privacy policy pages, privacy policy pages will appear just like that. Super simple, easy to do. Anybody can do it. If you, if you have a WordPress website, you too can have a professional looking um, written, I should say, privacy policy in terms of use in seconds. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please use these plugins if you operate a website. Take care and have a great day.